uh, greetings to all uh, i'm so glad to meet again uh, in this uh, online lecture series uh, for subject principles of management the first three uh, 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 lecture series in part 1 2 and 3 we discussed about the topic uh, controlling uh, we saw the uh, control uh, process or the steps in all in controlling then in uh, second uh, lecture we spoke about uh, what are the different types of uh, control that are available in, in organization then we discussed about budget we spoke about the classification of budgets then again in our third topic uh, third lecture series uh, uh, we just spoke about uh, budgetary control techniques and uh, we also discussed a few non budgetary control techniques so in this lecture we'll discuss about the topic uh, uses of uh, computer and it in management control so uh, in today's world we are aware of the fact that any information that is uh, communicated should be accurate and should be delivered in a timely manner so if the informations are very accurate and it and if it is uh, communicated in a timely basis in a timely manner uh, only then the manager could be able to make the right uh, decisions on time and just work towards organization goals so this uh, so information uh, systems enables the manager you know to just control the business so this computer plays a major role uh, in management control in in most of the organization uh, so we'll just in this topic we'll uh, we'll just uh, divide the topics in two types uh, two categories first we'll talk stress about uh, uh, uses of computer in management control and in second we'll talk about the role of it information technology in man management control we'll start with uh, the use of uh, computer or how computer is benefit beneficial for managerial control in business organizations the first point is uh, we'll discuss a few of the factors very very shortly and precisely uh, with a few with few points so the first thing the first factor in which uh, that we have, the first point that we discuss that we can discuss about the use of computers in management control is about the payrolls so payrolls are nothing but this is information about the list of uh, company employees and the amount of uh, money they are to be paid it's actually the payroll so a computer can uh, process a firm's uh, payroll so it can be uh, programmed to read the uh, payroll records calculate earnings deductions and holdings and it's uh, and actually the paychecks so uh, so uh, programmed uh, things are programmed means it means that we can use some kind of software uh, maybe software uh, software services to do this or uh, so payroll systems uh, uh, that we uh, maintain uh, can be uh, on hourly basis or uh, salary or commission payments so the kind of payment that we offer uh, to an employee can be based on salary uh, salary salaries or based on commissions or maybe based on hourly basis so whatever uh, it is things can be programmed in computers uh, and the payroll system of organization can be man managed in a computer second one is uh, the point that we're going to discuss is uh, business management so computer this uh, uh, computer do help in this business management so computers uh, provides uh, the data and reports for the management like uh, inventory sale analysis credit analysis are uh, can be easily calculated uh, for the for business management the third point is uh, personal management information uh, so computer helps in managing uh, uh, the personal information uh, of an employee it could be uh, uh, programmed are saved in computer which can be uh, retained whenever necessary so it can print out the information of uh, job classification space uh, uh, and individual's capability and list of employee maybe by department a grouping of uh, people by by skills 
our uh, our by salary basis or what are uh, things that we need to it helps in personal uh, management in organization so computer can uh, help in managing uh, informations in the manufacturing unit for example like a computer can helps in maintaining the ordering then varos uh, informations the manufacturing also a computer can uh, schedule work for the assembly line if a labor is based on shift so it can print out a list of equipments uh, or materials that are uh, required for a particular uh, uh, day and it can very easily predict the output maybe the saved information in the machine then uh, can be reported the next point is uh, computer is also useful in accounting sorry before that we will discuss about uh, banking credit so computer is used in mm, fi- finance credits and uh, collection industry like banks and etc uh, so it can process deposits uh, commercials and consumer loans and also revolving uh, charge accounts for banks there and various uh, other department stores talking about accounting so computer can print out customer billings tax report profit loss statements balance sheet and other financial information required both internally and externally in and business organizations so this uh, so computer plays a major role in management uh, control in in various ways based on the application and purpose uh, then we will discuss about uh, it and management control or how is information technology is used in management control so nowadays uh, we are well aware of the fact that with uh, high advancements in technology and with the fastness in in the, in the growth um, and any business organizations or any management in the business organizations needs advanced technology uh, to solve uh, Uh, the basic uh, requirements uh, so information technology plays a vital role in controlling and uh, safeguarding uh, such uh, uh, informations so uh, managing information systems is a management activity that is so management information system uh, is the information technology which is explored for its maximum usage in management activities such as planning organizing and controlling it can be used as an aid for decision making in various functional areas of business so what is uh, mas or management information systems so it's nothing but a computer system consisting of consisting of hardware and software that serves as a backbone uh, for an organization's operation so all these uh, organizations and the organizational details are managed with the help of mas uh, management information systems so an mas is uh, gathers data from multiple online systems analyzes the informations rep- reports data uh, to aid in business management uh, uh, and helps in uh, business uh, management decision making this is actually mas so we'll see about uh, the next slide we'll see about the need and Uh, importance of mas management information system a uh, why is uh, and management information system is essential so um, the overall uh, idea behind mas it helps in we have said in a previous point it helps in decision making this slide or uh, in this uh, uh, slide we will discuss in detail how an mas can help we'll we'll divide uh, we'll uh, divide this in two different categories uh, one is as internal factors and external factors so as internal factors how important is an uh, is ms management for systems the first one is resources so it involves the analysis of uh, uh, the availability of resources in organization that is money materials mission etc next ms helps in uh, planning and control that is uh, it helps with uh, budgets sales forecast etc the third one is a uh, production function so it is required to increase uh, the production uh, product quality and it's essential to reduce the wastage uh, so right uh, next one is uh, 
operation information so uh, ms management information system is uh, is helpful in managing the overall of uh, business operations and industry last one is it helps with uh, the marketing uh, the product marketing functionalities uh, such as uh, analysis of competitors and uh, sales sales growth sales forecast etc then we'll discuss about the uh, the need for ms due to its external uh, factors how ms uh, is uh, required are important uh, uh, because of external factors so first one is uh, political and government so it involves uh, informations of uh, political fiscal policies government policies procedures rules and regulations then economic conditions it's nothing but getting the required information such as the money value inflation rate interest rate etc then is technology it is used to get information about the new advanced uh, machineries the new process or the new uh, technological uh, growth uh, etc so in this uh, slide we'll discuss about uh, the various resources that are used in uh, management information systems first one is uh, computer hardware so it includes uh, the server workstation networking equipments printers and other uh, hardware devices that are associated uh, with ms the second one is uh, software so these are uh, the programs that are used to handle the data this may includes uh, uh, maybe additional programming or uh, some database software spreadsheet programming etc the third one is data It's nothing but the data that the information uh, system records it may be the form of a symbol digits alphabets uh, graph pictures or extra last one is people so people who are uh, people who use the information systems are it includes uh, skills like uh, system analysis uh, specialist it includes uh, specialist system analysis programmers and uh, computer operators these are the resources and that are required uh, for ms okay then we will discuss about uh, the implementation of ms or uh, the steps involved in implementing this management information system so first one is input data collection so as you all know uh, collecting uh, the necessary data uh, that are required for analysis is nothing but the input data collection so the other need is uh, uh, the objective of this uh, data collection is uh, for better information management system it is to have the uh, better management system or better, uh, it helps in the better decision making the second one is information storage and table so whatever data we collect in the first step has to be stored and it should be easily indexed uh, uh, for retrieval or it should be um, uh, stored and it should be made easier for retrieval or for assessing uh, uh, in the management based on the need the third one is analysis so to utilize the data effectively it is necessary to analyze them so based on the need uh, we are going to analyze uh, the data that we have maybe the analysis may be for various purpose or objectives maybe to analyze uh, the problem or to uh, develop alternate uh, alternative solutions or to select the best one so there may be various reason for analysis so, so that's the start step the next step is output so once analysis is done we just generate an uh, report or output in the form of you know charts uh, tables diagrams uh, or graphs or whatever it is so now the output we have the next step is decision making so all the information is uh, the helps in making the right decisions the last step in implementation is action now once the decision is made um, the output uh, information uh, we are with the help of this output information it is converted uh, converted into action so that the changes uh, can be made positively that affects uh, that influence uh, the organization so this is all about ms this topic let me just given a summary of what you have seen so far 
so this topic uh, uh, this lecture we have uh, discussed very uh, shortly about uses of uh, computer and information technology management control first we discussed how when computer is used in management control we discussed few points like computer is used uh, uh, in various applications for man uh, in management control like payrolls business management personal management information uh, manuf uh, manufacturing information control banking and accounting then we saw about uh, how an information technology uh, technology uh, affects uh, management control here uh, the coming slides with uh, we stressed on ms management information system so once again i'll repeat uh, management information system is uh, nothing but you know it's a combination of uh, uh, hardware and software that serves a backbone of orga organizational operations so with the help of the data that we gather it's uh, it helps in decision making that's the main purpose so, so throughout this uh, the following uh, slides we discussed how uh, mis influenced how the need for mis based on uh, internal factors and uh, we discussed about need for mis based on a few external factors then we discussed about the resources uh, required for mis then we spoke about uh, how and uh, what are the steps involved in implementing mis thank you thanks for watching this uh, short lecture video